Good morning. Thank you for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Nicole Brady and I'm Brian Sanders. Here are your top stories for Thursday. Training camp is underway for the Broncos and now the team is a step closer to having its new owner. The NFL's Finance Committee recommended the other team owners approve the Broncos $4.6 billion sale to the Walton Penner Group led by Rob Walton of the Walmart family. Team owners will vote on the sale August 9th in Minneapolis. 24 of the 32 owners need to approve the sale for it to become final. Colorado Congressman Joe Neguse and six other representatives are pushing a bill to help communities recover from wildfires. The Wildfire Response and Drought and Resiliency Act also focuses on preventing wildfires in rural communities that lack resources to do so. It's set to be voted on by the House this week. And if you're awake with us right mm. now, maybe it's because the weather woke you up. Take a look at this. Our traffic expert Jason Luber took video overnight from his home in Castle Pines, where you can see the streets flooded and water carrying debris down the roads. And then heavy lightning we captured from our Lookout Mountain camera. That lit up the night sky mm -hmm. and you can see the wall of rain coming down over Denver. And maybe the most wild video of all is hail clogging the streets of Estes Park. It looked like snowfall It came down so heavy. This was along Elkhorn Avenue, wow. the main road through downtown. So let's see what's happening today. Here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your Denver 7 forecast. Yeah, on a side note, Jason uh, took his boat into work. He, he, he drove the boat <laughs> We do <laughs> still have some scattered storms and showers out there this morning. A heavier rain east of Denver there along I-70 as you're heading into uh, parts of Kit Carson County into Burlington. You're going to find some flooding rains there and still uh, quite a bit of a light show out east. So we are tracking a much stronger cold front, a pretty strong one for this time of year. We're in the 60s right now. We'll be in the low to mid 70s through the afternoon. It's going to be quite a bit cooler today. Well below normal Denver right around 75 to near 78. 60s and 50s for the foothills. More rain possible today and tomorrow warmer and drier this weekend.